So. Hello and uh, welcome to the PhD in Sustainability Science Information Session. Um, my name is Jessica Blythe. I'm the Graduate Program Director in the Environmental Sustainability Research Center. I'm also a professor here. Um, I love to do research on environmental sustainability. Primarily I work on oceans and climate adaptation and equity. And one of the best parts of the job is working with PhD students in our program. So I can't wait to uh, share some information about the program with you. Before we get started, I would like to have the other people with us uh, introduce themselves uh, to you because this is always a team uh, environment and these are people who you would get to know really well if you join us in the program. So maybe Amanda? Yeah, thank you, Jess. Um, so my name is Amanda Smith. I'm the Center Administrator here at the Environmental Sustainability Research Center, which is where the PhD in Sustainability Science is housed. Um, as part of my role, I oversee um, our graduate programs along with Jess and Erin. Um, and a big part of our, our center is the transdisciplinary nature of what we do. Um, and along with that, we have several community partnerships, um, which I project manage. Um, I also play a role in the experiential ed pieces that we try to build in to all of our graduate and undergraduate programming, where we really try to get students um, into the field and outside of the classroom. Um, I'll pass it over to you, Erin. Sure. Um, so my name is Erin Daly. I'm the coordinator uh, here at the Environmental Sustainability Research Center. Um, my role in our grad programs is a lot of the day-to-day uh, -day functioning uh, in our grad programs. I play a big role in admissions, so if you have emailed us asking questions about uh, the PhD in Sustainability Science program, I am likely the one who returned your email. Um, so all admissions questions come directed to me um, when our students are in the program. Um, form submissions, questions about uh, funding, applications, scholarships, all that kind of stuff uh, is also uh, my role. Um, so I interact with our students on a regular basis. Um, I also do a lot of our uh, public facing presence, so sharing student accomplishments and exciting news on our social media, uh, on our website, keeping everything up to date. Um, so yeah, that's a basic overview of my role in the center. Thank you. So uh, broadly, here's what we're going to cover uh, in this session. The PhD uh, in Sustainability Science is the only uh, PhD in Sustainability and Science in Canada, which we're really excited about. The demand for uh, experts in this field continues to grow exponentially as we continue to be challenged by uh, diversity loss, climate change, social inequality. So the need is great and we're thrilled to respond to it with this program. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the diversity of faculty and student research areas that are available in the program, uh, about the funding packages, and then just um, review some of the details on when uh, and what is um, required in the application package. So broadly, this is what the PhD um, in Sustainability Science looks like. Uh, it's a four-year program. The first two terms, which are eight months, so run from September until April, are core and elective coursework. Um, you'll have the opportunity to interact with other PhDs in the program, other master's students in the program, and uh, diverse and various faculty uh, within our program who teach uh, these courses. After the first two terms of coursework, you go into the comprehensive examinations, which I know sometimes is one of the most notorious parts of a PhD program, but it's this wonderful four-month period where you work with and you read carefully the most exciting and important literature in your area of interest. You write a paper on that and you defend it at the end of August. Once you're successfully through your comprehensive examinations, you go into the development of your research proposal. So that's the details based on what you learned in your comps and your coursework on what you're going to pursue in your particular project. Um, so that's a really exciting part of the program. Um, once the proposal has been approved, you go into your research and writing phase, which is you know where you get to go out and do primary research, whatever that might look like for your program. Uh, and that takes you through to the end of the program. So as we said, it's a four-year program, uh, 12 terms of work, and when you complete the program, you will earn the title Doctor of Philosophy. 
This is just a, a visual that is in our handbook of what the program looks like. So it reviews, again, those first two terms, term one and two, are your coursework. You form your, submit, uh, your supervisory committee at the end of term two. And I should say that we have students in the program with all varieties of backgrounds in terms of their academics. So we have students who have come to us with masters in uh, biology, masters in environmental science, um, master MBAs. Um, so we, we accept a very wide um, uh, diversity of, of academic backgrounds into the program. You form a committee, which is your team that you get to work with, your favorite thinkers in the field, experts in your research area. Um, so that's term two. Term three, as we said, is the comprehensives. Term four, research proposal development and approval. And then you move into your research phase, which is hopefully the most exciting uh, part of the program. Yeah, so just to highlight, um, sustainability science, the way we define it, um, based on the formal definitions in the literature, is questions that are about social and ecological interactions. But um, questions that are very much solution oriented is one of the other core features of sustainability science. And the third is that, as Amanda said, we take a transdisciplinary approach. And that just means that we work with interdisciplinary researchers, some of whom you see here on the screen, as well as really with partners outside the university. So we recognize that the big challenges that many of us are interested in tackling, and that's what draws us to the program, require collaboration um, with people who live in the places we're interested in, who have expertise in those areas. So we have a broad range of faculty who are affiliated with our program that come from uh, departments across the university. So just quickly, we see Dr. Marilyn Carey here on the top. She's a remote um, sensing expert who works with satellite data, imagery data to understand land use change patterns, you know, it's one of the largest drivers of uh, climate change globally. In the middle is Dr. Julia Baird, who is a Canada Research Chair in Water Resilience and Water Governance. So all kinds of issues, you know, that water scarcity, water pollution uh, going forward are going to continue to be one of the core challenges that we need to tackle uh, collectively. And in the bottom, you see Dr. Todd Green, who is in the business program, and his research is about corporate social responsibility. So just to say, we have faculty who research all kinds of different topics, and it uh, is we invite you to uh, visit the website and to check out our faculty and what they do, and then we ask that you contact a faculty member to see if they uh, have the capacity and have the shared interest to work with you. So uh, some of you may have already been emailing us, and that's wonderful. If not, go to our website, check out the faculty, and then start reaching out to them. Um, there may be somebody who does something that is exactly the kind of work that you want to do. So just to highlight a few of our current students, um, we've got two here. Uh, Nori Espana is a PhD candidate currently in our program who is working on uh, coral reef conservation in the Philippines and how that relates to the newly agreed upon global biodiversity framework where the countries of the world have agreed to um, protect 30% <coughs> of our land and sea by the year 2030. We also have um, Shannon Fernandez here, who is a current student who is working on uh, climate adaptation at a municipal scale. So how can we improve the um, effectiveness and sort of issues around equity in terms of how municipalities are responding to climate change? And I would just like to point out that um, People who graduate from our PhD program can obviously pursue academic careers. I think being a prof is the best job in the world, and that will ab absolutely open that door for you. But uh, graduates from our program can pursue all kinds of other jobs as well. So you could go into the NGO world and work in that space. You could go into the government sector and work in that space. Um, and so just to flag that the PhD continues to open those kinds of doors for you. These are some of the career um, paths that you can take going forward. So, you know, the, the need for climate change specialists and coordinators continues to escalate um, as we realize that climate is cutting across every sector uh, in the working world. Uh, sustainability consultants and planners, uh, sustainability scientists, um, research positions will be open to you after graduation from this program. So just 
uh, an overview of some of what that might look like. So to speak quickly to the funding piece, we guaranteed funding in our program, which we think is a huge um, draw, hopefully, and, and strength of the program. Uh, the two core pieces are your graduate fellowship and your graduate assistantship. The fellowship is guaranteed funding from Brock University. Uh, you receive this amount equally over three terms in your first year of study, uh, and the actual amount of that is posted always on the Brock website, so you can go there. Um, the graduate assistantship is also guaranteed funding in the program, and with this one, you um, receive it in the form of either a teaching assistantship <coughs> or a research assistantship where you'll either teach in a program or conduct research with a faculty supervisor. We also try to prioritize funding opportunities such as internal scholarships and external scholarships to make sure you've got the space and the resources you need to thrive in the program. So just quickly about admissions requirement, we require a master's degree in environmental sciences, environmental studies, or another related field, and feel free to reach out to us if you've got a master's degree or you're about to complete one. It's something other than these, but might be a good fit. Um, and we require a minimum of at least an 80% average. In addition, we, we ask that you connect with a, a supervisor faculty before you apply, and that should be by email. You can find all of us on the website, and everyone is interested in speaking with you, so feel free to email. Uh, and the application checklist includes a CV or your resume, a written statement of intent, the name of the supervisor who you have connected with and would like to work with, academic references, and your transcripts. The application deadline is the 13th of January, so it's coming up soon. Um, so we encourage you to continue to explore our website, uh, contact potential faculty members, and always reach out to us if you have any questions. So that concludes uh, the presentation. We're happy to take questions and we're very happy for you to reach out to us by email. Thanks everyone.